We are here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park for their Christmas celebration. It's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And it's like a walk up. <laughs> I don't see a single person. This event is called the Wild Holidays at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. It's select dates and those dates are basically just weekends. That's, that's all that they're identifying. And then the whole week, December 26th through January 1st. Our first decoration is a snowflake right here in the entrance next to the sign. I'm sure this will look much better at night, but look at the blue lights on the tree. <laughs> and there's Nanny. <laughs> uh, but there are, there are lights on all these trees. We're gonna have to see it at night. Oh, and there's Papa. <laughs> there's a wreath on the front of the um, Jeep over here. Presents in the back seat. We've got snowflakes and hanging lights. This is gonna be really fun a little bit later on tonight. We've never been here for Christmas before. Nice little Christmas tree over here with some snowflakes and decorations. Even more decorations. I just, I love Christmas decorations. I'm sorry if I'm pointing at every decoration <laughs> and like going ooh and ah over every decoration. More decorations down here around the shop on the left. Santa at Village Market, 12 to 8 p.m. So that's what the line is right there. There's people queued up to go in and meet Santa here at the Village Market. Right here at the map booth, Amy pulled out a Wild Holidays specific map. And they have dining options on the outside of it. It says Safari Coffee Outpost. Congo Kitchen has a holiday churro. Um, Merry Meatball Sandwich. Chili Cornbread. Clam Chowder. Uh, fresh Holiday Fudge. Peppermint Bark. We need to go to the McCann Market. <laughs> And then in here is a lot larger, sorry, Benjamin keeps hopping in the stroller. If you're wondering why he keeps getting jolted. Um, we have a really large look of things that are going on here. We're, we're not gonna spend too much time looking at all of them right this minute. Oh, look at pictures of the food down there. The Did holiday donuts. That's what I like looking at, the food. After looking at the calendar, everything for Christmas happens right here in Safari Base Camp further down the way at the Tiger Trail or spinning right over here to Nairobi Station. Everything for Christmas is in this area. So right now what we're gonna go do is go deep into the park. We're just gonna enjoy some animals for a bit, walk around until it gets dark, which is gonna be two hours from now. And then we'll come back and hit all the Christmas stuff a little bit later on in the video. Oh, Amy has to see the, the sand cat, one of her favorites. Hello, kitty cat. You cute little kitty cat. Right here at the Kalahari Cupboard is where you can get that holiday waffle sundae for $14.99. Right over here by the Bat House, if we turn and go this direction, in the past you'd be able to go off to the left here to go down towards the elephants, and uh, I have some news. Now there is a wall preventing you from going down there because... There's a future expansion coming to the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. It looks like they're taking half of the elephant viewing area and uh, some of the, uh, the, like the Tembo Stadium, they're probably tearing it out. And it looks like they're gonna be putting something else down that way. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what it is. Ooh, a nice big sign for wild holidays right here over by the Mombasa cooker. Well, because that path is closed, we're now heading down a road that we've probably only been on like twice the entire time we've been coming to the safari park. It is the one that's adjacent to the Lorikeet Landing feeding area. Check out all the snow on the trees. Wait, that's not snow. That <laughs> is also up there all on the ground and right here and yeah we're gonna get we're gonna go we're gonna leave this area real quick yes i knew that wasn't snow just having some fun now that they have closed off the path that goes down by the elephants the only way to get down to the lions and to get down to the elephants and to get down to the africa loop area with the uh, okapi and the warthog is to go down this elevator tower and then you have to come back up it you have you cannot do a loop anymore you've got to come down here go down the elevator uh walk around down there and then come back up the elevator and there's nanny <laughs> 
Now we're in front of Lion Camp Slush and Snacks, and you can see the green walls over there. That's the far southern end of the new expansion. So it's gonna be right back here in this area and down to the elephants. Oh, they even have walls up all the way down here, actually. I didn't think it would come all the way down here. Just ran into a volunteer that's standing next to a sign that says, Big Ears, Big News, or something like that. Uh, but back by the elephants, and they told us that the entire Elephant Valley is being completely renovated, and that they're adding in a two-story structure right above the main elephant area. There's going to be a restaurant up there and a viewing area for people to take a look at the elephants. It's going to be amazing, and it's going to be cool. She also said that there's a rumor, it's not confirmed, but they're thinking about connecting the tiger trail up by the Australian area with the elephant area so you'll be able to walk that whole thing. Uh, if you are familiar with the safari park, there's a road that goes back there now, but it just dead ends and they're going to connect that to the elephant valley, or at least that's the hope and the plan. Uh, she said that this whole project is going to take two years to complete uh, the renovation of the elephant valley. So that's what's going on. I'm looking forward to it. We can see three lions from here. Now, didn't you say the male died? Yeah, the male died, so they got three females. Yeah, because the male died. We decided to go on the Africa tram. Hopefully we will see these beautiful trio of ladies again. They just went behind a bush. There's some rhino butts. And the more you look out there, the more you're going to see a bunch of those boulders are actually rhinos. They do a great rock impression and you never want to take them for granted. Are we on Jungle Cruise? A lot of beautiful colors happening with the Springbok. They are very fast, very agile antelope, as you can see with those long spindly, le spindly legs and that racing stripe right across their side. Because they are evading cheetahs in South Africa in the grasslands. They gotta be quick. This is why antelope have horns. They are for competition with each other. Every species has a unique set. Um, so they are perfectly capable of interlocking with members of their own herd, which you can see these girls demonstrating very, very well right there. But you can see they settle their differences really quick right there. Not every every time an antelope or any animal out here is fighting is going to be intense, you know, battle of the century. It can just be like, get out of my way, or hey, or like, you know, when you're friends, you play fight, you roughhouse sometimes. Now, giraffe are very well adapted for life among the bush in the savanna because it is their main food source and how they keep an eye on things while staying hidden. And that applies to the species here in our backyard just as much as it does as the ones in Africa. Um, so you can see quite a few different antelope all around us. It is 5.05 and some lights are out now. Sparkly's on the tree. We are around the Mombasa uh, lake area here. Just a moment to go over here. There were some stilt walkers that were all decorated in lights. I don't know where they've gone. We saw them in the trees. Uh, but all these trees are covered in, in green lights. Now, my camera does a really great job of being like visible in the dark. So it kind of mutes some of the colors. Uh, but there's little green dots everywhere. Amy and I were saying a lot of the lights around here reminded us of Lightscape San Diego. I'll link to that video if you want to check it out. It's another Christmas event that you can go to here in the area. We caught up with the stilt walkers here. Butterflies. Sort of. Butterfly things. Yeah, that's what they are, butterflies. <laughs> Happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays. If you want some Christmas fudge or some peppermint bark, this is the place to get it here, the Oasis Deli. There's some blue lights over there at Mombasa Cooker. And now we're heading into the Nairobi village. And there's, uh, wow, Snope. I see Snope over here. Oh, and Safari Parker. Got Safari Parker up there on the stage. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And the weather outside is clean. <laughs> Look at that kid. <laughs> let's see, let's see your, your snowy hair. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for helping make it snow here in Village Playground. It, uh, yes, you're right, it was snow. Very good. Now, if you miss my little show or you want to see it snow again, we have two more shows this evening at 6 o'clock and at 7 o'clock. And then in the meantime, right here on the stage at 5.30, the holiday troubadour will begin his show. And happy so as he was just saying, that's Safari Parker, and Safari Parker has his own presentation at the top of the hour. But at the bottom of the hour, they have a music presentation right here at the stage of the Village Playground. There's some nice lights through here. It's uh, like pulsing. Like I said, we've never been to a nighttime event here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Oh, they changed colors, red and green. Now we're leaving Nairobi Village and heading back into Safari Base Camp. I see a lot of nice lights up here on all the trees, on the tops of the signs for the store. James would like to say hello. Bye! They have music going on over here at the radio station. We're gonna head actually up towards the Tiger Trail right now. They have a Christmas tree here too, how cool! <laughs> Here's their tree. Ooh, lights headed up to the Tiger Trail. Light tunnel. I love light tunnels. This is super cool. <laughs> now we're headed up the path to Australia and we've got some lights on the railing. We've got some lights on the trees too. Once we entered Australia proper, this is the first look of lights that we've gotten in this entire area. Uh, and they're not like super prominent, just some up there on the side of the building and on this uh, water tower here. Stepping into these West Wool Shed here, and they've got a couple of Christmas trees. A couple of wreaths up here as well. Now this is very nice looking. As we go into the World Garden and the Condor Ridge area, Lots of pretty lights over there. We've got a whole bunch of fun lights under the bridge. That looks really nice. Here's another look at that twinkly area. Some nice lights over there as well on the Arbor Walk. We turn back here and we have a better view of the World Garden again. Look at all the trees over there. It is really nice to look at from this angle though, specifically. I'm sure it'll be nice when we're walking down it too, but from here, we've got some Christmas lights over here. There's a, a snack place right there that's currently all actually closed up, but they still have the tables open for people to sit at. We've got the nice blue and green lights through here. Ooh, there's like a starburst light. Does that mean, nope, you can't really see anything over there. We leave the Arbor Walk behind and head into the Tiger Trail. Now this looks nice. Love the reds and the oranges. Wow, this looks really cool. I like it. Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for, the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. O2H, O2H. Here's the San Bhutan Longhouse. This is the, the Tiger Longhouse. Lots of decorations through here. A Christmas tree, looks great. I do not see the tiger though. We've come out of the Tiger Trail now and we're heading back towards Safari Base Camp. So we gotta go through the light tunnel again. I love the light tunnel and this is just so great. No, it's kind of hard to see it, but what did you think of that light tunnel compared like to uh, compared to SeaWorld's light tunnel? They're different. 
so it's hard to say. This one's kind of nice because it's smaller, so, you know, you feel like you're more in it, I guess. I felt like the lights were dancing around a lot better and yeah. much better choreographed music. I thought it was great. Yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> I didn't want to leave. Even Benjamin <laughs> didn't want to leave. He's like, oh, not the tunnel. I ending. know, it's like the best part. <laughs> it is time for Safari Base to come to life as we light up the holidays. So they said that was live at the holidays, and it happens, what, every 30 minutes? What do you think? I liked it. Yeah, that was, that was pretty great. That was kind of like the uh, the culmination of the Wild Holidays event here, <laughs> and Nanny's photobombing again. Hi. Where's your hand? Now, while we're on our way out, we're going to take a look at some of those lights we saw earlier. But now that it's dark, we can see them, like all the icicles hanging from this. This looks really nice. Right over here at the Safari Coffee Outpost, you can get loads of gourmet hot chocolate with different flavors, salted caramel s'mores, gingerbread, and peppermint. Wow. Check this out. Yeah. It's very blue. Very, it's almost like overpoweringly blue. <laughs> it's kind of blindingly blue. Yeah. And now we can see them on the palm tree down here too. Even the trees out front have lights all over them. How fun. Ooh, they have a, a projection on the roof. Snowflakes filling in the roof of the safari park. That's really nice. Even these trees down going back to our car are covered in lights. I just, I love it. There's lights everywhere. 